Hey, hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go and tap in the spirit real quick. Get this tea for y'all. See what's going on in y'all general collective energy when it comes to love. Or just see what the universe wants to tell y'all about this love situation that y'all are in. Period. Yeah, this is one of those readings where the universe is going to step in and tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Yeah, so y'all might want to hang, you know, buckle down, sit tight, you know, go grab you something to drink, roll you a blunt joint, get your vape, whatever. Because I got a feeling this is finna be the truth and the absolute truth and nothing but the truth coming out here about this love situation, y'all. Y'all see, I'm even hesitant to pick up these cards because, ooh, child, what is this? Some of y'all want to send somebody a message or you want to reply to a message. Oh, oh. Oh, oh! Look what I look what I got when I cut the deck. I got liar and someone else. So be careful of someone sneaky, and then someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage you. Oh my goodness! What is going on? Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Yeah, because look, I feel like y'all keep falling for the same type, same type, same type. Mercury retrograde. Y'all finna have a lot of people. Coming back towards y'all. Y'all tell me when Mercury Retrograde is. Are we in it now? I have no idea. But it, sometime soon, y'all gonna have a lot of people coming back towards y'all. But I do, I feel like, look, do not ignore the red flags here. Because somebody here is a liar. Your intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Look what I'm telling you. Somebody from your past is coming back. Some of y'all, I don't know what this was sex in the car is about. But if you know, you know. But it's something about sex in the car here and looking back at it. Yeah, I, I'm seeing the rear view mirror. You see what I'm saying? So what is going on? Oh, child, my stomach is in a knot. I don't even know what this is. Holy Spirit. What is this? Mm. Okay, because wait. Oh, you know what? I'm so sick of this. Y'all, oh, why do every time I try to get y'all a love read and get y'all some clarity or something, this karmic energy wants to step in. Somebody is following y'all. Somebody is following. <laughs> yeah, gold digger. Damn. They want your money. Being used. So what is this about? I'm sitting up here talking about somebody following y'all. It feels like somebody done attached themselves to somebody for financial reasons here. Let's see where this goes. Holy Spirit, what is this about? Y'all, hit that like button for me. Subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Let's see, we got one that flip. And we got love spell. Oh my God. Y'all, please. Oh, goodness gracious. And then we got a guardian. A, a lost loved one watches over you. So you're being guided away from this person. Because her, somebody thought that you was an easy target, baby. And they thought that they could get you for some type of uh, some money or something like that. I feel like somebody is trying to deeply attach themselves to you. Through some type of love spell. Some of y'all, of course... This is your masculine being used by this karmic energy. He don't even realize that this woman got him under a spell. Somebody here is making your masculine fat. They're eating a lot. It's like their stomach and shit has gotten so big. That it's like, what's going on? Somebody here don't want your masculine to be attractive to nobody. They want your masculine to have low self-esteem as well. So they will be stuck with this person. Oh my goodness. I am so done. She done put a spell on. Somebody trying to put a spell on y'all. Somebody here is also. Listen I'm telling you. If you've been gaining a lot of weight around your midsection fam. Check the person that you sleeping with. Because I feel like there is something going on. I don't know if you sleeping with this person. You know unprotected. Or what, but put a cap on that and then see how your body start to change. Oh, shit. Give me more on the situation, please. Okay, they told me to take the child. Yeah, we got challenges. Make a decision. Working on inner healing. 
again, if it, it looks like a, a big belly, like somebody's like, no, they, somebody don't understand why they gaining so much weight around the midsection. And they like, what the fuck is going on here? That's all I'm feeling. It's something here with either this person's, um, what is sperm, semen, you know, uh, the juices from the cooch, y'all, shit. Something like that. But it's a love spell here. And I feel like it's also like a weight gain. Holy spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is this challenge here? Somebody needs to decide to push back. Because I feel like somebody is settling here. Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Hmm, I wonder what that's about. See, that's what that I feel like that's what I was saying about this right here. Somebody is trying to make somebody gain weight to the point where they won't feel attracted to anyone else and they'll feel like obligated to stay with this person. But no, that's not the case. Somebody needs to face their fears head on, seriously saying. Yes. Face your fears, fam. Luck is on your side. The universe got your back. Yeah, we got manifest. Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Some of y'all, y'all want to lose weight. I heard somebody want to get married. You want a ring from somebody. Tell the universe exactly what it is you want and stop acting like this is not what it is you want. It's like you're working against yourself here. Somebody else here, it feels like you really into somebody, but you refuse to like open up to this person, be vulnerable or something like that. And this is somebody that you manifested. Somebody here wanted somebody with money. You wanted somebody with money to help make your life a little bit easier. You're getting this person, but it's important for you to open up to receive this person. Somebody here is really worried about their weight. I don't really feel like nobody else is really worried about that. But see, it's somebody here that dealt with a, 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 a grandiose narcissist in the past. And this person made you feel less than. So that's why you can it's, you find it hard to love yourself the way that you are. Because of the shit that this person did or said or something like that. Whomever this past person is. But y'all got to understand that your past person is, is not this new person. Somebody here, you go, it's like don't make this new pay, person pay for the past person mistakes. Yeah, health. Health issues could arise. That's what I'm saying. Somebody here is gaining weight rapidly around your waist. It's something to do with your heart, the way your heart is operating here. Somebody here needs to um, get to a doctor, have a checkup. I'm hearing when love calls your name. I don't know what that's about. Somebody here, you know what, with this open up, y'all. somebody here could be having open heart surgery, spirit is saying. Somebody wants some, it's like somebody want to, this is crazy because you have one person that put you in a situation where you possibly start eating a lot. This could have started affecting your health. I'm hearing somebody high cholesterol, high blood pressure. It's, it's messing with the circulation or something like that. I don't know who this is for. But this is stemming from uh, stress that you were dealing with when you were dealing with this narcissist person. This new person here, they're going to be very patient with you, help you work out, things like that. I'm hearing heart healthy. So this person right here, they're going to, I can't say that, you know, they're going to make you eat certain things. But they're going to help you with your diet, whomever that is resonating with. I'll be scared. Give me one more thing. Yeah, date night. Hey, you know what? E exactly. So, yeah, guardian. I feel like, honestly, 
I don't know what happened in the past with you and somebody. This is not for everyone because it's kind of specific. Um, something here happened in the past where somebody possibly thought that you wanted them only for their money. Someone here is dating someone or attached to someone who is financially well off. This person right here, they thought that you were like the rest of them. That you only wanted them for money. That's not the case. Somebody else here, this same person, they know that you're very spiritual. Something here is about candles. I'm hearing chrysanthemums. And Christianity. So there is a religious difference between you and this person as well. Somebody here, whomever this person is, it's like they're getting um, uh, messages about you from their, from the Most High, from their angels, their guides. It's like their guardian angels whispering in their ear about you. This person right here, it's like now they're ready to open up their heart and accept that they, yeah, they really do love you. Some of y'all expect a, a, um, a invitation to go out and I'm here to talk. Somebody want to have a very much so heartfelt conversation with you. But if you thought somebody put you under a love spell, the answer is very much so yes. Some of y'all are having problems manifesting here because your heart chakra is blocked off. Spirit wants you to open up to receive. You can't receive as long as you're blocked out. A lot of y'all have stepped too far into your masculine energy here. Yeah, there could have been a, somebody has an ancestor that watches over them. Something here happened with their heart. Yeah, I see somebody, it's like, um, somebody possibly had to be brought back to life. Because it's like flatline up, down, then flatline. My condolences. Y'all also, it's a lot coming through. Y'all be mindful if y'all are on a date with someone. Because I did tell y'all, there's a karmic energy here. If y'all are on a date with someone or you're dating someone, I can't say someone new, just someone. Because there is a karmic energy here. I don't know, you know, where this person came from, whose side they on or whatever. But y'all be mindful of being in the presence of someone that you have some type of romantic tie to. And this karmic energy coming through her. And there could be like an argument or something here. I don't know um, if somebody gets... It feels like somebody gets hurt. Somebody has to have like surgery or something like that. So yeah, y'all be very much so mindful of this um, this whole situation. But especially this karmic energy. Because I feel like this, part, this karmic energy is going to try to push your buttons. In order to get some reaction out of you. So they can react to your reaction. They feel like this person. That it's like a push and a pull. That y'all are fighting over in their words. Is theirs and you're interfering. This person has something that they want. I really don't even feel like this karmic energy. Loves this person. It's all about money and control her. That's it. But yeah y'all let's get into this. Yeah, and everything I just told y'all was the absolute truth. Ice of swords. Truth, clarity. Now y'all understand? Yeah, be careful out here. Male or female energy. Because it's a karmic energy just waiting to come across you. Like to cross paths with you. Somebody, I'm hearing don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Also, in, invest your time wisely. Somebody here is watching somebody. Money. Yeah, they're watching money or watching something get up off the ground or something like that. The song I'll Kill You, Summer Walker, just came on Pandora. Y'all be careful, 1414. Be careful out here. There's a karmic energy that is waiting to run into y'all so that they can possibly kill you. I don't mean to scare anyone. I just want y'all to be have y'all eyes and ears to these streets, babe. Y'all, I know how to say streets. I do. I just like saying streets. <laughs> but yeah, somebody out here that you have something or you're getting someone that they want. They want this person's money. 
So you come in between this, it ain't going to happen. They will hurt you. I honestly feel like they're trying to hurt this person by, you know, feeding this person food that they know that this person is not supposed to have. Somebody right here is also feeding someone's addiction. It's like someone's trying to get over something with the challenges. And somebody is just like, you know, it's going to be okay. Just like, I'm here one little hit. So I don't know what that means. Yeah. This is absolute craziness here, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Let me make sure all these cards in the hood right before we get started. I don't know how. I'm trying to give y'all a positive message. But it seems like I'm telling y'all, every time I come through here to start telling y'all about y'all love life, y'all masculine, this karmic energy is just like, she just steps in or he just steps in. So they could be very much so spiritual as well. One of these karmic energies that y'all are attached to could even watch my channel. So, I mean, y'all gonna have to take the energy how it resonates. Because I'm telling y'all, every time. That's why I made that post. I'm so tired of these karmic ass readings. Absolutely sick of them. But it's like somebody just needs to know, needs to know, needs to know. And that's what I'm here for. Spirit told me to give y'all a message. And that's what Bucky gonna do. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. I'm just trying to make sure all the cards are in the upright. And for some reason, there is like a shitload in the reverse. So y'all see how karmic this reading about to be? All the damn, damn near half the deck in the reverse. This don't make no sense. I ain't never had this many damn cards in the deck in the reverse. Like, I'm talking about, yeah, look, I'm telling you, somebody here done tried to do something to y'all before. Something here was going on with your heart. I don't know what it was. See, this is what I'm saying here. Somebody here really, really bloated. I don't know if you started gaining. It's something about somebody's liver. Somebody here done put some type of spell on y'all. Y'all, oh, goodness gracious. And this is why, this, see, I don't, I don't like this shit. Because y'all don't even be bothering nobody. Y'all just be sitting back minding y'all own self business. But because y'all are attached to this weird ass masculine that can't seem to leave y'all the absolute hell alone here come these karmics it's like at every turn y'all got a goddamn karmic coming up against y'all for whatever reason i am absolutely sick of it but let's get into it hold on try it really who yeah. like that <laughs> y'all know try any damn who like that where's the trash in the kitchen here can you close my door please yeah. thank you all right, child, let's get into this. Holy Spirit, can you tell us about this love spell real quick? I've just been sitting up here rambling for about 17 minutes. Tell us about this love spell, Holy Spirit. See, you know what? It's like somebody that... <laughs> Y'all, somebody done paid somebody to put a love spell over your relationship. Could be an Aries or... To make this person be like uncertain or in and out, hot and cold or something like that. It's not even necessarily to bring this person back into them. It's just to, it's pretty much to make you kind of distance yourself from this person because of the way that they treat you. Can't make it up five pentacles. That's all it is. Oh my goodness. Y'all people never cease to amaze me. This shit is absolutely crazy. Yeah, look, the six of look at this. Somebody here want to take the, the, the attention, the spotlight off of you and put it on them. It's like, oh, shit. I cannot. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this. Somebody, look, so it's a Sagittarius out here possibly. Are y'all dealing with a Sagittarius? Somebody here, they very fucking childish, whomever they are. So this masculine here, they feel like, um... You know, you got something to do with this masculine not want to do, you know, do life with them. I'm hurry. <laughs> so they putting this spell over your relationship so you can feel how the mask. They want the masculine to make you feel how the masculine made them feel. So it's all about making you feel how they feel. And it's using the masculine to do it. Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah, look. <laughs> you can't make this up. What was I just telling y'all about this little spell? We got the two of swords and then the damn world card. They want somebody to be like a stalemate as fuck to you. 
so that you would actually walk away like I've had enough of this. No, I am done. Somebody don't somebody also is putting a love spell on somebody. So like when you take your clothes off or get naked or something, that you feel really insecure and it cause it's like the way that this person looks at you or doesn't want to look at you or doesn't pay attention to you when you take your clothes off. Something like that. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Holy Spirit, what's challenges? Yeah, we got the ace of pentacles here. Holy Spirit, why is the ace of pentacles here? See, this is what I'm seeing. Then we got gold digger right there. And then we got ten of pentacles. Somebody here, it's like, they feel like, hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. But yeah, this person right here, whomever this karmic energy is that want to hurt you and hurt this person that really does have amazing feelings for you, she feels like if you come back into the picture, that it, what she came for, she's not going to get, which is this person's money. Y'all see the Ace of Pentacles and that Ten of Pentacles right there. She knows that if, if you get back in contact with this person or this person get back in contact with you, then you're going to get this offer that she so desperately wants. This is a real desperate energy right here. She ain't got no damn money. This is absolutely crazy. Somebody here could even already, this karmic energy could be attached to somebody. They could already, y'all look at this shit. Don't that look like a trash bag? So this couple, it's a karmic here already attached to a bummy ass dude who is using your person. This is crazy. And she like, nah, you can't come back in the picture because if, if you do, Hun, this dude, like, they already ain't got nowhere to go. They could even be married. It look like a tux in a wedding dress. Yeah, Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, y'all. That's true. Lord have mercy. I give up. Yeah. Yeah, but like I was telling y'all, open up y'all heart to receive love. Y'all are manifesting this love. And it's coming. Yeah, Scorpio energy here. I'm telling you, baby, if this man come back towards you, this karmic energy going to act a fool. Yeah, somebody going to end up going to jail or something like that. She already in her head. This masculine is in his head as well, spirit is saying. Yeah, he can't stop thinking about you, queen. Yeah, I feel set up energy as well. Somebody finna try to put y'all name in something that y'all ain't got shit to do with. Y'all ain't got shit to do with this. Whatever it is, it got possibly something to do with money. But y'all ain't got nothing to do with this. I feel like a stolen inheritance. Somebody finna try to say that y'all stole some money or something like that. Y'all ain't doing shit. It's just somebody trying to get y'all caught up. Eight of swords on the bottom of the deck. Holy Spirit. Okay. We're not going to take those. Okay. Okay. Dang. Now y'all see these cards just come flying out everywhere. Yeah, we got the eight of ones here. Some of y'all finna get a message or something on social media. But something here, yo, somebody's heart is beating way too fast. That's what I'm saying. It feels like this karmic energy, they want this person to overindulge in something. It's like somebody got an insurance policy on somebody's spirit is saying, and it's a lot of money. What? Somebody, you can't make this up. They go to the devil. Somebody finna try to make something look like an accident. Oh my goodness. Ooh, honey. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, give me more of this. Open it. Yeah, look, the lovers, Gemini energy. And then we got the two of pentacles. I'm telling y'all what the fuck it is. I know. This person right here, they can't figure out how to absolutely get the hell away from... Somebody finna come to y'all for help getting away from this karmic energy. They can't quite figure out how to get away from them. They know you're very spiritual, so they want to help you. This person is even going to pay you. They're going to offer to pay you to help them get rid of this karmic energy. They want this person out of their life once and for all. Yeah, but it's like every time they try, it's like... Somebody is blackmailing this person. They have something on them and they threatening to tell it if they um, leave them. Yeah, it could be a Leo here with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, nine of pentacles here. Somebody gives somebody a very comfortable life and they refusing to give it up. No matter, they'll go through any lens. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they'll go through any lens. 
in order to um, keep their lifestyle. Yeah, look, the devil comes out with the queen of swords. Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm telling you, it's some addictions here. And then we got uh, the hermit, Virgo, Aquarius energy. We got Libra, Virgo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini. All the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio. Leo. Yeah, but I'm telling you, it took this person a long time in order to accept this this uh that this this karmic energy was who they are. They see this person for whoever they are now, and they don't want shit to do with it. They want to be gone, dead. They want this dead and done. Y'all might even get somebody. I don't know who you are, who I'm reading for. Somebody actually feel like you got the power to take, you know, unalive somebody. So yeah. Somebody sitting up here trying to do shit to unalive you, not knowing that the person that they laying next to every night trying to unalive them. <laughs> oh, shit. Queen of Wands, sir. Yeah, y'all keep those uh, thoughts positive at this time. And I always trust your intuition. Somebody here, watch your fucking back. You cannot make it up. Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Watch your back when it comes to this karmic energy, baby. I do not feel nothing good coming from this energy. This person is desperate to keep whatever uh, lifestyle, finances, or whatever going that this person is providing for them. If you come back into the picture, this person will go through any lens to get you out of it. They going to try to get you sent to jail. Somebody here, they, they done already put a spell on you. This motherfucker will try to unalive you. I'm hearing with their bare hands. This bitch is ignorant or this dude is crazy. And it's all behind money or, you know, a female or a dude or something like that. It's whatever it is that they get from this person. They're not willing to give it up. Somebody is also manifesting you back into their life, queen. I'm telling you, yeah, cancer energy here, cherry. Somebody here also keep manifesting that new car because it's coming. You ain't, you don't know where this money coming from. Boom, surprise, yeah. And then we got the, the three of wands. And then we got the ten of cups. Somebody here going to offer y'all marriage. Y'all ain't seen this person in a while. They coming right back through. Yeah. Somebody here, they saw somebody for who they were in March last month. And now it's just like open their eyes to who the fuck you are. Somebody here, this person, I'm hearing can have a health issue. I'm not sure what is going on with this person. But they definitely have a health issue. Somebody here is even coming home because somebody in their family is dealing with a really serious health issue here. But somebody here is searching for you. It's like everywhere that they go, like they pass a car, it look like yours. They turn it around and see if it's you. Yeah, this person, they, they want to start over. They want to marry you. They want to, you know, move in, all that kind of stuff. But this karmic energy is on their ass tough. They need your help. Yeah, it could be a Pisces here with the hangman. Somebody here is somebody. I'm feeling blood clot. Somebody got a blood clot. It's something going on with somebody's head. It's a blood clot or something like that. Your legs. Yeah, get to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, we got the five of cup. We got lost. Y'all get to the damn doctor. But somebody here, I'm telling you, it's like they do they were doing good until they got with this karmic energy. Whomever this is resonating with. They were doing absolutely fine until they got with this karmic energy. Yeah, now look, three of swords, and then that's the truth. Somebody here is dealing with the heart issue because of some some drugs or something that they that they've done or they doing or something like that. They're heartbroken. I feel like this person is disappointed in themselves because they went they allowed this karmic energy back into their life or into their life, period. And now it's like shit keep going to hell for them. They need your help in digging themselves out of this hole that they've dug for themselves. And that's the truth. Somebody really do feel like you can help them get away from this karmic. So expect some type of, of message. Yeah, look, high priestess. They feel like you the truth and you can help them. They're heartbroken and they're in despair. They need help and they, they're coming to you for help, whomever you are. And then the Three of Cups is clarifying the date night. Yeah, somebody here is planning a date night for y'all. But exactly what the fuck I was telling y'all about this date night. I was wondering why Spirit wanted me to keep going. I was telling y'all to be careful if y'all on a date with somebody. We got the Three of Cups, we got the King of uh, Wands, and then we got the Death card. 
y'all be careful out here if y'all are dealing with somebody that y'all know is dealing with somebody or was dealing with a crazy person. This person wants to unalive you. They will unalive both of y'all. If they can't have this person, nobody can. Especially you, fam. Y'all, share this message, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you got to do to get this shit out. Because somebody here, I'm feeling like they are really in danger. Y'all, it's been my pleasure. I pray that this reaches whomever it needs to reach because God damn it. Y'all, it's been real. We're going to get back up.